Okay, I don't know who, what color the guy is. In this position, black played queen e7. Blah. Frankly, terrible. This position is not very good for black. That's not a good move. So I tell this to all my students, and I see it a lot on the stream. You don't see it a lot in Grandmaster play. When you have a pawn on e4, and your pawn has a knight on f6, then you play e5 if it's available. If e5 loses a pawn for nothing, then you probably shouldn't play it. But here, e5 is just good. So you always play e5 in these positions. And then these positions never occur at Grandmaster play because white would play e5. Now Karen's upstairs playing poker. Once again, e5, a3. I mean, I don't want to look at the game anymore. Black plays queen e7, I move two. White plays a3. I mean, what, what's the point of looking at the game? a3? Whoever submitted this game, whatever side you are, maybe try something else like tennis or golf. Because chess isn't your game. And whoever your opponent was, tell them the same thing. Bloch, h3. I don't know who I'm madder at, white or black. Tough call. Ugh, H6. Every move is the worst. C6, what? Bloch. I mean, queen G3 just wins. This move, like, the edge just says it's equal, so it's okay. G5, Queen H4. Jesus Christ. Oh, Queen G3. I mean, this game sickens me. It makes me wish I never learned how to play chess so I wouldn't have to see this game. I mean, it's a lot worse than what I'm saying. G5, <laughs> What? It looks like somebody set their engine to make random legal moves and they just played both sides. And they don't have anything to do with the position. Then the game just ended. Like, that's the end of the score. I mean, this looks like a game Hans would play if he wasn't using an engine to help him. Terrible. 